Hey everybody, it's me, Freddie Mercury. It's outside, it's 20 degrees and in here it's already 30 degrees. Today we're gonna play Guangxi, the Guangxi clique. It's honestly one of my favorite China paths. I do like it more than China China. Red China is a bit... Shangxi uh, nah. is... Uh, <laughs> 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 Xinjiang, Zhivei and Yunnan are all pretty much the same. I mean, Yunnan, you pretty much never have to worry about someone getting into your land. Uh, I digress. Guangxi clique. We do have a, a ginormous focus tree. We need to finish this focus tree. <laughs> Our first focus tree. And I will say, I do like the idea behind this, you know? Like, every China has this focus tree, except for the two main Chinas. And then if you complete this focus tree, you get the focus tree of the other Chinas. It's, I think that's just so cool. Hunan border. Ah, f screw you, Paradox. That's one of the weird bugs with the... I don't know if it's a bug, per se, but it's just a weird thing because you press them and then they just change their target. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, we will attack Guizhou. Just look at this. Now it's going down. Why do, why do I get closer ties with Germany when I search for opium? <laughs> that's Panzerschokolade, that's not opium, that's just meth. Oh my god. I know I'm making China weaker right now and Japan also doesn't have to worry about me, but this is scary. It's 1940, I took one single state from China at this point. I had to delay the border conflicts because I didn't have the proper divisions yet. You heard that right, proper divisions. If you've played this path before, you know how easy border raids are. Send in six divisions filled with six infantry and you can win against the AI. At least it used to be the case. Since BBA, the terrain modifiers will apply to the attack card. So you need to put RT and Mountaineers into your divisions and pay attention from where you are attacking or else you won't be breaking through. Believe me, I tried. This is the 7th reload. Oh, let's just go, I guess. I didn't... No. Paradox. No. No. Why does Paradox change their game, man? Just keep it the same. You know, back in my day, we didn't have fancy patches. We just had a game and we were happy with it. There were no bugs in it. Definitely not in Pokemon or any other game. This is a little bit tricky, so you start off with researching artillery and mountaineers. Then once you have artillery, you put everything except for one on RT pieces. After that, you go for anti-air and the better gun. Focuses, you go down to secure internal politics. Then you hire the army of sky. Then partial move. Then you get the research slot. Then the cross-border raids, border clashes with nationalists and the rival government. And as for construction, you just keep on pumping mills. But I'd still like to have engineers in them. These divisions are at the very least decent enough. I guess we're gonna get trucks because we do need trucks. Wait, I don't have engineers yet. Ooh, let's first get engineers before I get trucks, man. There we go, you're prepared. Let's stage an incident. Industry and engineering, I'm just gonna throw under the bus for now. Wait a minute, okay, yeah, we are attacking from both sides. Yay! Now they have the bug that they can't do the thing. Yeah, please flip to another border. Well, I can press the button, but I mean, they don't have orc. Maybe I can beat them before proper divisions come in, even with the insane supply modifier. Yes! Lucked out on that one completely. Oh my god, I just... Okay, we do have a supply up here. Yeah, we are actually in the battle with one division. Okay, cool. The rest is showing. Guizhou border is not that great, but it's also not bad. <laughs> Disagree that the arrow starts there, but I'm not hearts of iron. This whole border conflict thing is still does still work if you're lucky and you just cripple your economy. Oh, Liangshan border, that's... Could be better. I would have heavily preferred one of these. But this is also good because now we have a border with Jibei. There we go, we made it in time. Which also means this is a super ugly border now. But that's the way I like it. Okay, France guaranteed my independence. That's not very useful, but thank you, France. Also, let me just quickly check. How's our relations going? Ooh, thank you for reminding me. Please tell me there's a supply hub. Of course there isn't. It's China. I guess Leishong. I just want to do something with my PP, man. It's getting too real. Now we're on a scale timer because Germany just declared war on Poland we should be safe I don't think the AI is that good they are steamrolling over Poland very quickly right now actually wait a minute I don't even have to do France for this one if I do improve relations with the UK that should also work oh god this is gonna be very tight and let's steal the Changde border please just hold a little bit longer France I shall even offer you mill access 35 days and I know that the French AI just doesn't hold I want to save this province Japan won't be able to conquer it thank you Oh, it's gonna be a game of inches. <laughs> what the fuck? 
fuck? One thing that's also good right now, this border is so small. China can defend it very easily. These guys will just die. I don't know how you can push here. I guess we can take Komi China now, which will also be bad because it just makes China weaker if there's any Komi China divisions here, because I will just straight up annex them. But it's better for me. Oh my god, they are pushing out. Uh, they're not really pushing. <laughs> they're just migrating. How's China looking in terms of capitulation? Not at all bad. All of these divisions are freed and they can just walk into Chongqing. You really just walked into this time. They just don't want to fight, man. Now we do have supply. Right, time for another incident. There we go. With that, we have everything we can do at China border. I wouldn't mind taking Wuhan. Boom, we took Wuhan. Are you supporting anybody else? No, just China. Ah, okay. That's bad. And that's very bad. 100 days. Wow. One land fort in Sh uh, Shanghai. Wait, in Shanghai? <laughs> so long as I am not at war with Japan, I can just place things in Sh Shanghai. I don't need to control Shanghai. My allies don't need to control Shanghai. It's just an enemy is not allowed to control Shanghai. There we go. We actually do have somewhat of an army now. There we go. Let's take the same guy three times. Maybe that'll help in the war. Someone who can use the Shadow Ninjutsu should be able to do something for us. Because of supply, we'll have to make a very... I, I can't do this. If I do this, like, it's game is over. We might just cap. I wish I had proper military command, man. I only have a division recovery rate guy. That's so trash. Oh, they actually went for two provinces this time. Finnish democracy. What? Why did they winter war like that? AI never does this. You just rush in, take as much as you can. We're holding somewhat, but I'm gonna go down here just so I can hopefully join the allies. Well, we don't have any supply. Nah. It's just convoys. I need Japan to declare war on the allies. Pronto. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna send these six divisions here. So let's isolate these. Let's isolate this. Let's isolate this. Attack here, attack here. You go here, you pin. Fuck. Why is nobody here? This tank is just cruising here. Yay, I got the tank. <laughs> I push and they push me back instantly. Please, just walk away. Where are the Japanese troops? Like, there's nothing here on the front. Today, US, please, help, help. Here, uh, get, take, 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 mid access for you. Opening another front while you're still fighting in China? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I just can't push here. I don't have the supply. I could make another port, but I'd have to defend the port and uh, I'd rather not. Give me more. Give me more. Democracy. Democracy. Oh, all of the Steam stuff is safe. That's cool. United Front. No, what's... <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate this game. I fucking hate this game so much. The focus does exactly what it says on the box. You do indeed cause China, the main China tag, to create the Chinese United Front. I think before they created the reorganized government of China, it did say Guangxi. We could just boot China out of a faction. Ah, we are allowed to join the allies now. Oh fuck, I shouldn't have done this. We don't have naval supremacy, but I guess I might as well start creating a port here. With our three factories that we have, oh my god, that's pathetic. Two of them are probably off map. Oh true, they can just send troops from the Raj. Oh, the Soviets are holding decently. Honestly, they're holding very good for the Soviets. For the AI Soviets? That's insane. They're dealing casualties, what? What's up with Stalin? Did my nine Sith factories that I gave him cause so much damage? Is he that overpowered because of it? One division from, you really just sent me a motorized division from Guyana. What am I supposed to do with that? Can't use it in China. I won't ever be able to do this. Paradox? I won't be able to do more of anti-imperialism because I can't complete army reform because I don't need to reform my army. I can't get lessons of war either. The Americans immediately come to my help in Vietnam. Boom, just look at that. You have supply and you can actually push and, and circle divisions. We are now democratics. I do like the flag. From a tier list standpoint, flags with letters on them are just trash. However, I do like this flag. The French really don't want to go into their own land. Oh god, my supply. <laughs> I guess I can try and make an auto push. Like, Japan isn't really that strong anymore. And I can't be asked to micro the entire Chinese front. Oh, I just want to push a little bit, get a few more factories back. And we also get more resources and all that, so... Sure, manpower as well. That doesn't matter. We have 1.3 million 
on limited conscription already. <laughs> we just doubled our manpower. We had 900 when we started this push. 4 million? Which province did we just retake? A uh, Guangdong. Wait, why Why did you take this? I want this. That's a core of mine. Taklaman. Yeah, you don't have that. But the British have this. We just have the, the, what? We can finally build the convoy. We actually encircled divisions. Wow. Oh, can we get? Yes, an infantry specialist. After all these years. Pushing still just works. Probably not too good for those divisions, but for me, <laughs> we can see progress. Shame that my mountaineers are down here, though. You are getting promoted to the Chinese front. I completely forgot how fun it is to play as China. Once you're stabilized, I have 5 million manpower. I'm just pushing. It doesn't matter. 6 million manpower. I lose a billion men? Doesn't matter. I still have another 5 billion. Sure, it's more than the amount of people that lived back then. That's not the point. Let's plunk down four of you here. And three shall go here. There's no... What are you talking about? No available land route, my ass. Oh, wow. We retook a bunch of China. We're slowly freeing China. The Soviets are here. Stalin has held magnificently. And 10 million casualties for 5 million. For the Soviet AI, that is incredible. But I'm still just confused. Like, you don't see them land in Italy often. You do see it sometimes, but not often. None of my divisions are where they're supposed to be. They're just all chilling here. Being chilling. Sure, this is all because of Hong Kong, man. Oh god, I just lost air XP. God, that it matters. I don't think I will ever build planes in this game. Daily change plus one because of minus one institute press censorship. Oh my god, I love this game. Okay, we actually ran out of infantry equipment now. Took us long enough, but we finally did it, boys and girls. Girl. I'd still like to push them out of Hong Kong, though, before I replenish our gun reserves. What just happened here? What? They just started pushing. Uh, because my entire front line just restructured. Ah, uh, industry. Oh god. Japan just started pushing. Don't have supplies because I don't have convoys and I don't have convoys because, yes, I only have two slots and these are gone now. Well, the Americans are... They already landed in Iwo Jima. As for the Balkans, they sure be Balkaning. This is one of the Balkans of our time. Oh, 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 that's bad. I thought the British had it because I land. I saw them earlier land. Oh my god. They might just declare war on us. They have the Switzerland war goal. We actually somehow made it so that Japan, they lost 1.8 million to us. And we had like 1 million to 700k or something. And 500k from China versus 20k. I've been playing for almost five hours now. I've not kept Japan yet. It's 1945. And Germany is still looking like this. We're already in Mangoku. Which also means if we can take one more tile up here, these are all encircled. Tibet. You idiot. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can integrate them. Probably not. Logistics wizard, yes. Li Chongren, you the man. Also, this is so weird. You just get a claim on Pradesh, nothing else. These focuses are some of the weirdest ones, in my opinion. This also happens with Portugal. After you take Porto Brazil, you just get claims on Uruguay, Paraguay, and Mesopotamia. You can't do anything with those claims. You require world tension, since you're non-aligned. Claims only give you lower requirement for resistance. You can justify quicker and they're cheaper to take in a peace deal, but none of this really matters to you. A war goal against Paraguay would already be kinda useless because it's Paraguay. <laughs> Just a claim on it is so weird. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of troops here. I can't believe you've done this. Right now they don't have any supply. Are you serious? You just pushed into this as well. You know what? Take it, France. This way it's your problem if you lose it. It's still my problem. This way I can blame it on them if they lose it. And I think the AI is also more inclined to defend their own land. Why do I need convoys for steel from Sweden? I shouldn't need, because I can just go through India, Afghanistan, Soviet Union, Sweden, and I guess Finland. Why do I need convoys from India? Well, that just screwed me over completely. In theory, I have very good planes. Just in theory though. Why am I still losing 200 guns a day? Ah, oh, because I, I'm not producing guns anymore. I feel like there used to be a way to see land trade routes as well. Maybe I'm just imagining... Oh my god, they took all of my steel. I think I'll just ignore it and then I'll cope that it helps me in my war effort. And I don't get why I can't even get stuff from India. If this is related to train tracks, it probably is. 
it's none of the stuff leads to my capital. I can't build there. I can't get stuff to my capital. Yeah, it was related to, to having a railroad connection to my capital. This has got to be the most dirtiest fight for China I've ever done. And definitely the sloppiest game on this channel yet. That's what happens when Paradox breaks your favorite nation to play. This is so fucking ridiculous. This battle for China is almost more confusing than the real timeline. I haven't had breakfast yet, man. Let me go. Let me go, Mr. Paradox. <laughs> That's the fourth person that claimed Indochina. I can still claim Indochina. I don't think Japan will accept it. I guess I can try. Worst they can do is say no or declare war on me and one of these things I think it's too late for. It looks like Germany is finally falling. 1946. Yes. Yes. Suffer. <laughs> oh my. We have artillery again. 2 million from my side for 4 million from the Japanese. 800k for 26k. This can't be. I'm not doing anything special. I don't have planes. I don't have special tanks. I can't take 800,000 Chinese for my 26. Germany is... The axis is gone. Which immediately prompted Spain to start waking up. Ooh, that's a curtain. I think we all know who is going to be the superpower in this game, in this Cold War. It's the Guangxi clique with its 70 factories. Mm hmm. 230k manpower. I don't get anything out of that. Sure, my allies will be stronger, but who cares? Spanish troops have arrived. I don't know, but yeah, those troops should have something else to worry about right now. Oh, China is capped. Yes, yes, okay, that's... Oh, that sucks so badly. Yep, the Japanese AI just completely freaked out. They are probably sending a bunch of troops down here. The front line thins. Menguko is gone. And all of these troops are gone as well. Turkey declared war on Soviet Romania. You did not just... Okay, I have two capitals. One green capital and a red capital. Ooh, that's my communist support because that's the only thing that I... I just lost my shipyard thing. That sucks as China, man. What? Oh, that was... That's genius. I just killed so many troops by losing and retaking this piece of land. The UK. Okay, the UK can justify against me. I don't care. It's just the entire allies that would go against me. I can take them on. I have 23 million manpower. On extensive. There we go. Now I just need to kick them out of the rest of Japan. I'm getting brain... No, I already have brain damage. It's probably just a tumor. In the shape of the Hearts of Iron logo. It's 1947. The allies don't have a single ship here. I know what that means. Pizza time. You did a mighty good job defending here. I would promote you, but I can only promote people that captured stuff, not people that defended. Oh god, I actually have 200 factories. What? Hu Peng wounded. <laughs> Hu Peng. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Oh no, what is going on here? <laughs> this is so fucking scuffed. <laughs> 40% damage on that one ship. Naval bombers are doing okay in terms of damage. They're dishing out. We're not taking ships out yet, but considering we have like 400 naval bombers here, 300 naval bombers, we're dealing decent damage. Looks like America finally realized that they can also just use their boats to get out of one of these wars, even though they are still have this weird battle royale in France. How many troops do you have? Landing in Japan won't be fun. This game will last for seven hours again. Oh my god, we did it. Okay, uh, uh, I'll keep one division here just because I don't trust myself. And then you can also just jump in here. And then let's expand the circle a little bit. Oh, that's such a scuffed front line now. <laughs> and I'm so paranoid, I shall even drop a division here. I'm so done with this game that I'm legitimately doing things that I don't do normally. We are completely democratic for every other party has been banned. They pushed into the final island and then they just left. Oh, actually, you didn't lose your front line this time. Thank you. Yo, that's a lot of red, boys. And I don't mean the Soviets. I get a war goal against myself. Cool. I'm going to disband a few troops here just so I get guns back. These divisions can prepare a naval invasion from Osaka. What is the US doing? Still have 3 million on all other surf. Scraping the barrel, 1 million on the Soviets. This is one of the most gruesome games I've ever played in Hearts of Iron. Just everyone is suffering. Yeah, the allies will win this. It's gonna be a grindy battle. I mean, the 
34 million versus 22 million, but they will just slowly push them out. We're going, we're attacking, and Japan can smell it. Oh, but they are intercepting my convoys, so I might not make it. Or if I make it, these troops will just not have any strength left. Yeah, they won't really put up a fight. I just have to hope that there's, if there's a single division, then this is over. Yeah, they're all just dying. Oh, I lost my offensive lines because of that. The snakening continues. That's actually pretty fire. This naval invasion didn't do what I wanted it to do. We improved and it worked out. <laughs> this feels so good, man. Finally, I'm at the gates of Tokyo. No, I wanted to kill off all of these troops. I really didn't think this would. Maybe the footage will be corrupted again. Seven hours. Let's have a quick Hearts of Iron 4 game before I eat breakfast.